Hey, it's Chris Doherty, Doherty Properties. I want to talk to you this week about where are some affordable cities in Massachusetts where if you live in Mass and you're looking to find a new place or if you're renting in Mass or you're thinking about coming to Massachusetts, where are some spots where there's some opportunities for some affordable housing? And Massachusetts historically is an expensive city. And so what I do is weigh proximity to the city of Boston, which is sort of the job hub, look at uh, values in terms of uh, money, in terms of cost, look at what there is to do for lifestyle and uh, activities for people to do. So I wanna go through five cities in Massachusetts that I think are uh, good opportunities for you. And I want to start with number five. And number five is the city of Framingham, Massachusetts. Now, Framingham, Massachusetts is a really large city um, that's a little bit unique because it's got a Route 9 that runs right through it with just all kinds of shops and restaurants. And it has some great parks and it even has some museums and it has some colleges there. So Framingham is a great place with 70,000 people and in the city selection has the most expensive home values of an average of $603,000, which is the average price for a home in that market. So if you're looking for a place to live where the home price is a 600 and you just have a lot in terms of you got to get in the car, it's not a downtown setting per se, but it's more of that Route 9 experience. Framingham is a great place on this list. Number four, I want to come to you with a place that everybody knows, and that's Salem, Massachusetts. Now, Salem, Massachusetts is really a cool city. 44,000 people, but what it has is this really great and thriving downtown. Salem has undergone a tremendous renovation over the years and it offers a ton of opportunity not just downtown life but museums witches museums a great history um, is what salem has to offer with the average home price of five hundred and fifty six thousand dollars a year okay I want to come to you with a place that's a little bit farther north of the city of Boston, and that's the city of Haverhill, Massachusetts. Now, Haverhill, Massachusetts is another one of these cities that's really unique. It used to have a lot of farmland in a great little downtown, and it still has that great downtown. But what has happened is a lot of residential housing development has gone throughout the city of Haverhill. So they have a lot of cul-de-sac neighborhoods a lot of beautiful homes with good land space, and you have that opportunity for that downtown living. There has been a great resurgence in the city of Havel over the past 20 years that make it a top destination. It's got a downtown with shops and restaurants. It has a commuter rail station there. It's just a place that is a good opportunity with the average home price of $476,000. And in Massachusetts, that's not bad, okay? The number two uh, city in Massachusetts that I wanna talk to you about in terms of affordability and um, events and activity, and this is the city of Worcester. Now, Worcester's a little bit farther out, okay? So you have to be willing, if you're going to be Greater Boston working, you gotta be willing to push out and commute a little bit farther. But Worcester is a place that is really amazing and thriving. 205,000 people in the city of Worcester. The DCU Center, a great downtown, a great history, and just all kinds of activities um, that you can go. A minor league baseball team just went to the city of Worcester. So Worcester is a spot where there's lots of opportunity for entertainment, great lifestyle, things to do, and you have affordable housing in the city of Worcester at 392000 on average, okay? And the number one city that is uh, an opportunity in Massachusetts right now overall is the city of Lowell, Massachusetts. I wanna to talk to you about the city of Lowell. About 115,000 people 
live in the city of Lowell, and it really has all kinds of opportunities uh, that you want in a city. It has the Sangus Arena, which is a great concert venue. It has the Lowell Memorial Auditorium, where there's all kinds of shows uh, and plays. It has Boarding House Park Summer Concert Series, the Lowell Folk Festival, a commuter rail that runs to Boston. It really is a thriving city with a large downtown that's really quaint. Canals run through it, so it's really unique looking. And the average home price is 437000 And so I always say to folks who are looking to move or do something in real estate, usually you look at that city anchor of where you are. You look in that city and say, okay, I like the city of Lowell in terms of location, or maybe I'm working there, or maybe that commuter uh, rail access. I wanna be there or I look at the surrounding towns. Same, I like Worcester, I like that area, I like the location, I like Worcester, but if I don't like Worcester per se, because I want a little bit more of a suburban environment, we look around that city. But those are the five top most affordable cities right now that offer everything that you're looking for in a city. I hope that helps.